guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be doing another makeup look this is a spring makeup look so if you want to know how i did this then keep on watching the first thing i'm going to use is my foundation and i'm just going to tip it all over my face as so you might see me talking but Again, it was too loud background, so this is why I'm doing it this way. So I'm just going to put it all over my face. If you have any tips on better foundations, then please let me know. Then I'm going to move on with the concealer. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes my nose and then my forehead. I'm not going to do it too big because I don't want a big forehead. Just plastering it all over. <laughs> then I'm going to get my sponge and I'm just going to dab it all over. I'm going to put on my translucent powder and I'm going to use the sponge again that I use for the concealer and I'm just going to go over the places that I just really put the concealer, really. And I'm going to leave this on while I move on with my eyes. Move on with my Junky palette that I got from Primark and I'm going to use the lightest pink going. And I'm just going to use my Morphe brush and I'm just going to dab my eyelid. Again, it's very hard because I've got small eyes. So it's hard to get to see the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go over it like so. I'm going to do the other eye. Make sure I've got enough eyeshadow on so I can... So you lot can see it. I'm just going to get my concealer and I'm going to put it on the top of my eyelid just to give it that more jazz. I did muck up so I had to sort of redo it again as you can see here. I'm going up instead of just leaving it but you know me, know how to muck up. Basically now I'm going to just shape my eyebrows with concealer. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom. Obviously the concealer is not that bright so if anyone else has got any ideas of good concealer then definitely let me know in the comment section below. So as you can see I'm just doing the top and the bottom just to make my eyebrows stand out just that tad little bit more. going to go in with a white lip gloss and I'm just going to touch up as you can see look at the difference there again I thought it stood out a bit more I mucked up so I'm just gonna do it this way because I thought it would be much easier but this one I decided to go because it stood out so much more obviously I will tidy it up as you can see when I look at the camera my eyes lids are very tiny so it's hard to do the eyeshadow at the best of times now we're going to do some contouring and this is a stick I got from Beauty Bay so I'm just going to Pop it over. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but this has worked for me in the past. Again, so I'm just going to use my Pukuki brush and I'm just going to blend that all in. Again, my skin is not that good, so it doesn't look flawless like the rest of the beauty gurus out there, but still, I'm trying. So I'm just going to blend it all in my skin so it's sort of popping as you can see 
I'm going back in with my junky eyeshadow palette and I'm going to just go under my eyes as so just to give the under eye just a bit more popping as you can see like so now this is the fun part I got some gel for my eyebrows and I'm just going to plaster it all over my eyebrows this is such a fun thing to do so I'm going to make sure it's all over it's like a wax so it sticks to your eyebrows because the fun part is coming up right now now I've got some silver glitter and I'm just going to place it all over my eyebrows so my eyebrows are popping as you can see glitter glitter I love glitter look how shiny that looks so I've used the glitter to go on top of my eyes and underneath my eyes as well look at that sparkling and some pink flowers and I'm using this Halloween glue type thing I forgot what name it was and I'm just gonna pull it on the flower and also I'm going to put it on my skin to make sure it stays on I made sure I put plenty on because I want it to stay on not fall off and I'm just going to position it where I would like it and then I'm just going to repeat this all over my face there you have it I positioned it lovely now I'm moving in to my Jeffree Star lipstick but then I've got a pink pencil lip liner I forgot the name of it I'm so sorry I think it's L'Oreal because I've got a lipstick with it and I'm just going to draw the outline on my lips again my lips are not even because I've got scarring on the top of my lips so it's not even so please bear with me guys So now I'm going to move into my Jeffree Star. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm just going to all over. It looks like I've got massive lips. I do apologise. I really haven't. So that is the pink. How lush does that look? You have my finished spring time makeup tutorial. Look how gorgeous it is. It's popping. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big massive thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't joined the Butterfly family yet, please do. And also don't forget to press that little bell so it will notify you every time I upload a photo or a video. <laughs> so again, thank you for your support and I'll see you lot next time. Bye my butterflies.